Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Trade from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Blackout TA20. All right, let's look at the box. I like it because uh, Blackout's over here. Let me show you. I love the Decepticon symbol in the background here in the front. And there you go. I love this scene. I love it. Decepticons, Autobots. Here he is in the back. If you want to see the story. Oh yeah, <laughs> I know how to read Japanese. Uh, look at Blackout. I love that hyper-realistic scene. It, it, it just, just sells it for me. There's the gimmick. Uh, yeah, in vehicle mode, it does have that disc launcher. It's kind of neat. So, face. No piping, no light piping. But yeah, I love the evilness factor of this. So, there you are, the other Decepticons. Here's the bottom of the box. I just ho love how evil the guy looks. I mean, he's a Decepticon. Alright, I think that's all the angles, top, <laughs> good, side, there we go, yeah, looking good. Comes with this cool looking instruction sheet, not an instruction sheet, uh, just to show you, the Voyager class, the, uh, what do you call that, Dino Bots, and you can see verses here, uh, I love this, the TA-01, uh, I like the animated Prime, there's few misses on the, and this is one thing I really like about that, so, if, oh, that's why it doesn't have a little card, this is his stat sheet. I was wondering about that. Yeah. And there's Blackout, the movie one. So this was made back in 07. Ooh, it has the features for the Orochi, the Alternity Orochi line. And yeah, I love that. And of course, I forgot what it is, the alternator, uh, what do you call that, Human Lion. All right, enough about that. Has a, also has this, which I guess one day I'll scan it with my smartphone. All right. Go ahead, look at this. I love this figure. It's neat. Uh, one of the things about I don't like about animated is it doesn't have molding. And six-bladed prop. I don't know. I don't know too much about helicopters, but the detail here is pretty dang good. So six-bladed prop. Although it hits the back tail rotor. No tail rotor. Let's see what other things. No wheels. Uh, good paint apps. This thing kind of flimsily is attached uh, good plane ups of the gold I like the red gray blackout gray red stripe over here uh, the front very sparse molding but that's to be expected in the animated line it has the little windows so very quaint clean uh, it, it looks great it looks great I love the tr I love that the purple on the top the cannons here do move up so they swivel, the cannons here don't, but hey, it is what it is. Could be more beautiful, 8 out of 10. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's, it's a helo. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and transform this bad boy. First thing we're going to do is this little, whatchamacallit, tail rotor just snaps off. Hopefully I can get this without snapping it off. There we go, there we go. Ugh, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay, For next we're going to rotate this piece on here, and as you can see that forms the leg, so yeah, just snapped on right here, forms the leg, so snap it on right here, legs, snap that, alright, has a little feet over here, and a little heel spur thingy so the guy can stand, I think, I th yeah. That's what that's there for. All right, enough about that. Go ahead, swivel that out, and a little tiny heel spur. I love that addition. Uh, there we go. Looks like Dinobot. What's that dude's name? The Dinobot. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot is you're gonna fold four of the blades down and and four uh, four of the blades down and two just like that little Y formation. So make sure. Actually, not Y. Just just like that. All right, good. Okay, arms just basically swivel. I love this automorph right here. Yeah. So, peekaboo, and it just tabs right in. Oh yeah. Put this. Oh yeah. I forgot. So that's just going to go down. And the reason we do that is so it just forms down over here. I love the automorph. It just pops back out. So that's good. So yeah, this guy's loaded for bear. The little side missiles now appear here. 
I mean, I don't know. I didn't see them before, but hey, that's kind of cool. Here's a dude's arms. He has these vicious looking claws. Yeah, look at that. Three finger claws. I don't know. He, he looks more like a Dinobot. There we go. Three finger claws. And I wish it popped in, but there's doesn't really pop in anywhere. So that's a little fatal flaw. There we go. Good. And just put this darn missile launcher. I know it connects somewhere. So if you wanted, you can just slide. And here's the arms. Let me give you the articulation later. Just gonna pop this back in. And this thing just connects nice and clean like. Oops, sorry, upside down. Ugh, thought it connected nice and clean. There we go. Good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like his detailing here, his paint detailing. <laughs> like the fact that they uh, decided to put that. I like the automorph. I like these little missiles. All right, for articulation, his head don't move, of course, because it's molded in. But shoulder, I wish it was kind of pegged in, but you have this little joint over here. I really don't like that. Yeah, bicep swivel, single joint on the elbow, a weird looking fist here. Does kind of grip with his talons. Pretty cool. No waist articulation. Oh, yeah, there is this waist articulation. No torso articulation. Uh, very simplistic for a Voyager. That's one thing I, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, yeah, it swivels out, swivels to the side, another swivel on the knee, single joint. You know, for a Voyager, it's not really articulated. And he's squat. He's really squat. All right, what you've been waiting for. I love this detail in here, though. Just the disc launcher. So you can. Yeah, that sucker's gone. <laughs> anyway. Whew. Quite frankly, I don't know if he can stand up. He's definitely top heavy. There we go. Just to show you, here he is with a size comparison. So, yeah, he's barely bigger than a Deluxe. And he's Forager class, but he's. He's squat. I mean, you can tell he, a lot of portion is built into his, whatchamacallit, transformation gimmick. There he is. This is what, how big a freaking Voyager class should be. That's a 7-inch figure on there, so. Um, well, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Not bad. You know what? Let me give him a 7 out of 10. Uh, I wish I had more paint apps. I forgot the little old-school Decepticon symbol there. 7 out of 10. Alright, that's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.